Question. What's the highest mountain on Earth? Did you, like just about everyone who's watching, say Mount Everest? Well, give yourself a point. Now let's ask the opposite. What's the deepest hole on Earth? Some smart Alex among you might be saying the Mariana Trench, but that's wrong. There exists a hole so deep, it exceeds the deepest depth of the famous Mariana Trench. And shockingly, it was dug out by humans. However, what they found at the bottom, no one expected. What did they find? How deep did it go? And how deep have we dug before? Come with me as we take a terrifying look at some of the deepest holes on Earth and what lies at the bottom of them. Chand Bowery When you think about what the deepest holes on Earth look like from the surface, I bet you imagine a jagged, circular hollow cutting into the crust and leading down into impenetrable darkness and doom. But that's not always the case. Take Chand Bowery, for example. Found in Rajasthan, eastern India, this isn't a simple circular cavity cutting into the earth, but a complex step well. If you didn't know, step wells are wells with a long corridor of descending steps that drop down to the water level. This particular step well, built during the 8th century, provides the areas around Rajasthan with a dependable water source, centuries before modern water delivery systems were introduced. As it happens, Chand Bowery is the deepest step well in the whole world. In all, its striking structure consists of 3,500 narrow steps, cascading 13 stories, constructed 100 feet down under. That depth's the equivalent of around five giraffes stacked on top of one another. What's the reward for braving the colossal climb down? Murky, green, stagnant water. Delicious. Still, it's worth it for the view alone, which isn't something you can often say about, you know, a big hole. Yamal Hole Not all deep holes are the result of man-made construction, however. Helicopter pilots flying over the Yamal Peninsula and the Siberian wilderness were greeted by this unnerving sight back in 2014. Is that making anyone else's skin crawl? This perfectly circular hole stretches 66 feet across and has a terrifying 170-foot drop. The question is, why did a giant hole open up here? Conspiracy theorists pointed to everything from meteorites to stray missiles and even aliens. Yet scientists seem to think this curious cavity may have been formed by a pingo. No, not him. A pingo forms when a layer of frozen ground is pushed up by water that's managed to flow underneath it. As the water freezes, it expands to create a mound. Warming temperatures causes the mound to melt and collapse, leaving behind this massive, unnerving crater. Another theory is that as the ground warms up, underground ice formations may thaw. This could release long-held methane gases that force their way to the surface before exploding out, causing giant craters like this. Well, whatever the cause of this gigantic hole, extraterrestrial or otherwise, one thing's for sure, you wouldn't want to fall down it. Monticello Dam Spillway Now, it's not just our land that's filled with massive and mysterious gaps. These holes can also be found in the world's waters, like this one. At first glance, you may think that this is a massive, magical vortex that'll transport you into some marine dimension. But sadly, it's not quite as glamorous as that. This water hole is actually a spillway. Spillways are basically overflow drains, ensuring that when reservoir water reaches a certain point, excess water flows into the spillway instead of over the dam, which could cause damage to the structure of the dam itself. When Monticello Dam in California reaches capacity, its circular spillway channels water down at a rate of 48,800 cubic feet per second. That's more than half the water that makes up an Olympic-sized swimming pool. As for the spillway itself, it has a daunting depth of 200 feet, so it's about as deep as an 18-story building is tall. Even if I had wings, I wouldn't want to go near the... Uh, oh. 
Uh, I'm sure he's fine. Unfortunately, the temptation to take a dip here wasn't just too great for the bird, but also for a woman called Emily Schwallen. In 1997, she decided to swim near the spillway before getting caught up in the powerful current it created. Somehow, she managed to hold onto the rim for about 20 minutes, but she was eventually sucked in and sadly didn't survive. So not only are these holes unnerving to look at, but they're also literal man and bird eaters. Devil's Sinkhole In the wilderness of Texas, 1,400 miles southeast of that sinister spillway, you'll find another unnerving hole, except this one is much drier. Explorer Eamon Billings first discovered this sinkhole back in 1867. He was so scared of what he saw before him, he referred to it as the Devil's Own Sinkhole. And in fairness, it's a pretty apt name for the hole. The main cavern is a circular 65-foot-wide crevasse and drops down a hair-raising 350 feet deep. That means you could fit the Statue of Liberty in here, base and all, and still have 40 feet to spare. If that wasn't devilish enough, the sinkhole is also home to 3 million Mexican free-tailed bats that nest in the cavern's walls. While the devil himself would be proud of this sinkhole, he didn't make it. It's actually the result of a natural process, which started around one million years ago when slow-moving acidic groundwater carved a huge cavity into the limestone here. As the water table dropped, the water that once held up the ceiling of the cavern drained away, leaving the roof to cave in, creating this incredible formation. While it may not be the work of the devil's hands, this sinkhole is definitely hellish. Well of Hell Speaking of hellish holes, that brings us to our next creepy cavity, found in the desert landscape of Al-Mahara in eastern Yemen. Here the land stretches for miles, until you reach this strange circle that looks like it's been cut into the landscape. Known as the Well of Hell, this vast void is close to 100 feet wide and a jaw-dropping 367 feet deep. If that doesn't have you scrambling backwards, those brave enough to get near the hole report a foul, almost unbearable stench wafting up from below. It's so pungent, it's led locals to suggest that the Well of Hell was created as a prison for demons. Despite those creepy claims, a team of ten daring explorers journeyed down the hole to discover what exactly was lying at the bottom of it. They didn't find any demons, but they did come across waterfalls, stalagmites, cave pearls, snakes, and birds. Not the alive kind, though. Maybe that's what was responsible for the awful aroma? One thing is for sure, though. This hole wasn't formed with the purpose of housing evil spirits. Nope, it's just an ordinary sinkhole. Okay, so it's not a demon prison, but considering it's home to foul smells, dead birds, and scary snakes... I'm still not too keen on dropping down this humongous hole. Great Blue Hole As we've seen with the Monticello Dam spillway, huge holes can perforate water as well as the land. But while that soaring spillway is found in a dam, some others create vast voids in the middle of the sea. Take, for example, the aptly named Great Blue Hole. This pit, found 40 miles off the coast of Belize, formed around 15,000 years ago. This sea shaft was once a limestone cave system found on dry land, when sea levels were lower. Over time, acidic rain reacted with the limestone, causing it to dissolve and the cave roof to collapse. Then when sea levels rose again, the cave system began to flood, creating what is now the Great Blue Hole. In total, the Great Blue Hole is a staggering 1,043 feet across and drops down a gut-wrenching 407 feet, which is far deeper than the surrounding water. As a result, it holds a much darker color than the surrounding water, making it pop out from the sea. But it's not just the dizzying depths that you've got to watch out for. Considering that this place used to be a cave, the sinkhole is filled with stalactites and stalagmites. 
It's also home to a range of marine life, from Caribbean reef sharks to eagle rays and even ferocious barracudas. Safe to say, it's not a place you want to find yourself at the bottom of, for a number of reasons. The Big Hole If you thought a 400-foot drop was a long way down, you've not seen anything yet. Located in Kimberley, South Africa, this is the Kimberley Diamond Mine. Even more appropriately named the Big Hole, this chasm is enormous. So enormous that it stretches over 1,500 feet wide and plummets down 705 feet deep below the waterline. The question is, what's such a huge sunken hole doing in the middle of the South African countryside? Well, turns out, way back in 1871, diamonds were found on the site, sparking a diamond rush to the area. Just one year into the diamond discovery, the population of diggers grew to 50,000. Unfortunately, as the digging progressed, many men met their end in mining accidents. And while the unsanitary conditions, lack of food and water, and intense summer heat also wiped out much of the digging population. By 1914, after untold losses of workers, excavation on the mine ceased. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. By that point, over 22 million tons of rock had been excavated, yielding 31 tons of diamonds. For context, that's the weight of four African elephants. Jeez, no wonder that hole's so huge. After it was abandoned and the large pumps keeping all the groundwater at bay were turned off, it was left to collect ground and rainwater and began accumulating what is now 130 feet of picturesque-looking turquoise water. However, those 100-foot-tall sheer sides are near impossible to scale. So, pretty as it is, I wouldn't recommend jumping in there. Well, not if you ever want to make it out. Dragon Hole Although the Big Hole trumps the Great Blue Hole for depth, there's one marine cavern that plunges even further down than the South African Diamond Mine. This is the Dragon Hole, found in the South China Sea. It's the world's deepest blue hole, totaling out at a staggeringly deep 987 feet. That makes it exactly as deep as China's Huang Kong Tower is tall. Like the Great Blue Hole, this would have formed as a result of water eroding the limestone, causing the cave roof to collapse. Then, as sea levels rose, the blue hole emerged. According to local legend, the Dragon Hole is where the Monkey King from the famous Chinese novel Journey to the West acquired his famous golden cudgel from an undersea kingdom ruled by a dragon. Sadly, it doesn't look like this big blue hole is actually ruled by a dragon deity, although this place does hold some marine mysteries. The upper portion of the Dragon Hole is home to at least 20 species of fish, yet below depths of 300 feet, virtually nothing exists. It's because the Dragon Hole doesn't have any open caves that let in the ocean tides. This results in isolated and stagnant deep waters that are devoid of any oxygen, and no oxygen equals no life. The Dragon Hole, scary by name, and even scarier by nature. Wooding Dean Well Placed in a sidewalk in the middle of Brighton, England, you'll find this inconspicuous little structure. But modest as it looks at first glance, this is actually the site of the Wooding Dean Water Well, the deepest hand-dug well in the world. In total, this whopping well goes down, seriously, get ready for this, 1,285 feet, meaning it's deeper than the Empire State Building is tall, excluding its antenna. So what exactly is such a huge hole doing in the middle of a sidewalk? Well, Work started on this shaft back in 1858. Back then, it was dug to provide water for a nearby workhouse. In exchange for food and a bed, the workhouse residents were expected to dig the well. It was a task that was carried out night and day for four years, with only candlelight to dig by. Can you imagine climbing up and down an Empire State Building-sized well every single day with just a flicker of light to show you where you were going? Eventually, after four grueling years, the workers finally struck water. Finally, all that hard work was worth it, right? 
Oh, no. Despite the massive cost, enormous effort, and promise that the well would save the town a fortune in water rates, Wooding Dean Well was only used for four years before being abandoned in favor of a more practical water supply. Okay, if I'd been one of those workers, I would have taken everything in me not to throw myself down the well after that. Mere Mine While you might not have assumed that Wooding Dean Well was a deep drop at first glance, the same can't be said for Mere Mine. This open-pit diamond mine in Siberia has a diameter that stretches 3,900 feet across. And when it comes to depth, Mir Mine plummets down a massive 1,722 feet. As the name suggests, this site was once an open-pit mine, after Soviet geologists discovered diamond-bearing deposits in the area. In 1957, mining began, but this was no easy task. Being located in Siberia, where average winter temperatures dropped to minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the ground was covered in a rigid permafrost. To break through this, workers had to use jet engines to thaw the ground. Despite the difficulties digging, Mir Mine quickly became the largest diamond mine in the Soviet Union, producing over two tons of kimberlite diamond per year in the 1960s. Mining operations continued until 2017, when flooding rendered the mine too dangerous to use. But this place isn't just a hazard to those working within it, it's also a threat to aircraft flying overhead. Sounds crazy, but apparently the earth warms the air inside the depths of the hole compared to the freezing surface temperature. The warm air inside the hole rises, while the cool air around it sinks. Such a big temperature difference between the in-hole air and the above-ground air results in a deadly vortex, capable of dragging down aircraft into the chasm. While there have been no recorded accounts of this actually happening, man alive, I'm gonna have nightmares about this huge hole. Berkeley Pit Almost 5,000 miles away from Mir Mine is an even more profound pit. Located in Butte, Montana, you'll find Berkeley Pit, a formerly open pit copper mine. The pit operated from 1955 to 1982. In that time, around 1 billion tons of copper, silver, and gold were extracted from the site. Considering the amount of material extracted from this place, it's no surprise there's a pretty huge hole here. In all, Berkeley Pit stretches a whole mile across and is half a mile wide, while it drops down a staggering 1,780 feet, meaning the One World Trade Center could fit in here. In fact, this hole is so mind-blowingly big, it can even be seen from orbit in space. Due to the pit being so deep, the groundwater has now infiltrated the empty hole, filling it with 900 feet of water. But this isn't just any old water. Due to the presence of sulfuric acid that's leached from exposed rocks, the water has an acidity of 2.5 pH. For reference, that's about as acidic as lemon juice. But not only is it acidic, it also has a high concentration of metals. It contains over 70,000 copper parts per billion, over 50 times higher than the human drinking water standard. In fact, this water is so toxic that in 1995, a flock of migrating geese died after they landed in Berkeley Pitt's waters. Lab test shows the insides of the birds were lined with burns and sores from exposure to high concentrations of copper, cadmium, and arsenic. Yikes. Efforts have since been made to purify the water and make it safe for wildlife, but still, canonically, Montana was once home to the biggest toxic pit in the world. Which seems, uh, let's be fair, on brand. Shiojai Tiankung Anyone trekking through the beautiful mountainous landscape of Kuangchin in southwestern China can expect to see miles of lush rolling green hills. Well, for the most part. You see, in the middle of this emerald abyss lies this colossal circular cavity. From above, this might look like some enormous alien footprint, but this is in fact Oh, here we go. Shiojai Tiankung, the world's deepest sinkhole. 
and the most difficult thing to pronounce if you're not a native. At least I tried. This huge hole formed gradually due to the flow of water carving out underground cave systems. Over time, the underground cavities became larger and larger until the cave roof collapsed in on itself, resulting in this sinkhole. And as sinkholes go, Shaojai Tiankung is huge. For starters, it measures 2,054 feet long and 1,762 feet wide. On top of that, this place drops down 2,172 feet deep. That's over twice as deep as the UK's tallest skyscraper, the Shard, is tall. In all, some 1,285 flora and fauna species are found here, including the rare ginkgo plant, elusive clouded leopard, and the six-foot-long Chinese giant salamander. Safe to say this humongous hole is giving me a sinking feeling. Bingham Canyon Mine Much of the landscape in the rural regions southwest of Utah's Salt Lake City are dominated by tall, mountainous peaks. Much, but not all. You see, this is also home of the Bingham Canyon Mine, the deepest open pit mine in the world. The mine has been in production since 1906. Since then, it's produced some 19 million tons of copper, more than any other mine in history. Even today, the mine is still in use, employing 2,000 workers and excavating some 450,000 tons of material every single day. As you can imagine, so much excavation has made Bingham Canyon Mine humongous. In all, it stretches 2.5 miles wide and a colossal 3,960 feet deep. That's over eight times the height of the Great Pyramid of Giza, and considering that excavations here will continue until 2032, it won't be long until this pit gets even wider and deeper. Holy moly. Veryovkina Cave While you can see Bingham Canyon Mine from way up in the sky, the same isn't true of an even deeper hole. Hidden in the lush, mountainous landscape of Abkhazia, Georgia, you might not even notice this tiny 10 by 13 foot opening. But this small shaft is actually the entrance to Veryovkia Cave, the deepest known cavern in the world. The cave was initially discovered in 1968 by spelunkers who reached a depth of 377 feet. But that's just the tip of this cavernous iceberg. Explorations have continued ever since, with spelunkers finding new untold depths to this place. In 2023, a team of explorers descended down a staggering 7,293 feet. That means this place is almost twice as deep as the gigantic Bingham Canyon mine. So large is the descent down that it takes spelunkers a grueling four days of scaling walls and squeezing through crushingly tight spaces until they reach the bottom. Sounds impressive, but can you imagine how grueling it'd be to spend eight days trekking up and down this place? True to its name, this cave is a very deep chasm. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory in a region even more remote than the desolate Abkhazian mountains, you'll find the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. And no, before you ask, scientists aren't monitoring some supersized ice cube. Instead, this observatory, found at the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica, is designed to study neutrinos. Neutrinos are tiny, massless, chargeless particles that rarely interact with any particles making them almost impossible to detect. Although occasionally, neutrinos do react with water molecules in ice. And this is where the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory comes in. Using a hot water drill, 86 holes, varying at depths between 4,750 and 8,000 feet, were carved into the ice. For reference, the deepest of those holes is almost six times the height of the Willis Tower. A vertical string was placed in each hole, with each string holding 60 light sensors. These light sensors were then used to detect any blue light the neutrinos emit, allowing scientists to infer the presence and properties of neutrinos. 
In 2013, just three years into the project, the ice cube detected 37 neutrinos that originated from outside of our solar system. Man, who knew we could detect these alien atoms? And to think, all it took was drilling 86 humongous holes in the Antarctic ice sheet. Mel's Hole But the world's deepest holes aren't always found in desolate places, or so it seemed. Back in February 1997, a man who identified himself as Mel Waters called up Coast to Coast AM radio station. Waters claimed that he owned a property near Ellensburg, Washington, that contained a mysterious hole. According to Waters, the hole had an unknown depth. He claimed after using 80,000 feet of fishing line that was attached to a weight, he still hadn't hit the bottom. That meant that the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, could fit inside this chasm 30 times over. Wowza. But depth isn't the only crazy thing about Mel's hole. Waters also claimed that the chasm had magic powers. Apparently, a neighbor's dead dog had been discovered alive sometime after it was thrown into the hole. Uh-huh. Waters said that due to the hole's supposed magic properties, U.S. federal agents seized his land and funded his relocation to Australia. But bonkers as that sounds, online conspiracy theorists pointed out that the hole is near to Yakima Training Center, a U.S. Army training base. Who knows, maybe the hole is home to some secret government alien activity. In reality, though, geologists say such a huge hole can't exist. Something that deep would collapse into itself due to the tremendous pressure and heat from the surrounding strata. Fair to say there are a few holes in Mel's story. Cola Super Deep Borehole While Mel's hole seems pretty baseless, literally, what's the real deepest hole in the world? Well, the answer lies in the Kola Peninsula, a remote region of northwestern Russia. This is the site of the Kola Superdeep Borehole, the world's deepest recorded hole. Although, you wouldn't guess it, judging from what it looks like from the surface. Yeah, that's right, the deepest hole in the world is underneath that rusty, abandoned metal cap. So, how deep is it, and what's underneath the cap? To find out, we gotta go back to the 1960s. During this time, the Cold War beneath the US and the Soviet Union was at its height, with each trying to outdo one another. While history remembers the space race, both also engaged in a race to the center of the Earth. America's Project Mohol drilled to 600 feet into the Pacific Ocean, but the Soviet scientists blew that effort out of the water with the Kola Superdeep Borehole. Drilling began in 1970 with the help of the Oralmesh 4E rig. When the operation ended in 1989, the 9-inch wide hole had reached a mind-boggling depth of 40,230 feet, or 7.619 miles. For context, that's over 5 miles deeper than the world's deepest mine, and nearly a mile deeper than the bottom of the Mariana Trench. If that wasn't crazy enough, the hole's depth is the height of Mount Everest and Mount Fuji placed on top of one another. So deep is this hole that if you somehow managed to fall down this thing, it'd take a terrifying 50 seconds before you crash to the bottom. So how did they dig so deep? Well, when drilling began, it was easy to plow through the granite rock. But around four miles down, the layers became more dense and difficult to bore into. As a result, drill bits broke, causing the diggers to change the drilling direction several times. Gradually, they made it further down, but as they got over one obstacle, another soon popped up. The heat. Due to the heat flow from the Earth's mantle, the further down you go, the hotter it gets. At over 7 miles down, temperatures hit 356 degrees Fahrenheit, twice what was expected at that depth. The soaring heat was beyond the capabilities of their drilling equipment, leaving Soviet scientists to abandon the project in 1992. And that was that. Or was it? Some online theories have suggested something far more eerie led to the end of the experiment. 
It said that wicked wailing screams of tortured souls were recorded from the hole, leading to the belief that it went all the way down to the underworld. But before you chew off the last of your fingernails, it's likely that this awful audio is just an urban myth. For starters, the recording devices wouldn't be able to withstand the 356 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. While a myth-busting website analyzed the sounds and found that they were suspiciously similar to audio used from the 1972 horror movie Barren Blood, even still, a potential portal to the underworld that burrows down close to 8 miles below the Earth's surface is certainly a hair razor, or should I say, hell razor. And with that, we've delved to the bottom of the world's deepest holes. Have you stumbled across any huge holes of your own? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.